Hi, I'm Anna, and in this video I'm going to show you three hacks to generate more leads through LinkedIn. So the number one hack is to optimize your profile. When optimizing your profile, you want to make sure you have a nice and neat profile picture that are, you are by yourself on the picture, your face is, you know, clear, the picture has good resolution, you're smiling, um, it's a recent picture of you, you don't want to put a picture from five years ago that you look totally, totally different. And then you want to make a cover, a cover photo. So if you want to make this photo, I recommend you to go to canva.com and in canva.com you can see here a LinkedIn banner or you can look at it here and it already has the measures that you need. So here are some templates that you can use or you can, you can create one from zero. You can choose any template that you want. You can change the letters. You can change this picture, for example. Um, in here there are some um, pictures but you can upload ones of yours if you want to for example I'm going to make this really quick that would be um, a nice cover photo that I just made in literally two seconds and then you can download it and upload it in here. I'm not going to change mine, but that's just an example. And then you can click here, edit. And on the headline, you want to make sure um, that you have keywords and that you, that you are you write down a sentence that solves a problem. For example, in my in my um, headline, I wrote, I help entrepreneurs generate consistent sales and leads on LinkedIn. But you can do, I help people do solution, right? So this is a keyword, this is another keyword. What will happen with this is that when someone looks that I don't know, for lead consultant or someone is looking for a digital marketer or real estate or any type of person and you are using those keywords on your headline, you are, you are going to appear in their search. So you want to make sure that you have that. Okay, so you put your location and well, your website, phone, etc. The next thing, second thing you want to do is the about section. This is really important. Um, in this section, people will decide if they want to connect with you or no. I like to write these questions and solve them here, but you can do whatever you want. You should also include keywords, like for me, I, I wrote them in here, so that you can appear in searches, right? So I wrote what I do, how I do it, what makes me different, the results you'll get, why it works, and well, I have a call to action in the bottom. You want to make sure you have that. Call to action is super important. In my case, I'm inviting you to my free case study. Okay, you can add media in here, you can add uh, videos, pictures, documents, anything that you want. So that's the second thing you want to make sure you have. The next thing is, well, the experience. Make sure, make sure you have um, your experience section well optimized, your education, skills and endorsement, recommendations, accomplishment, and interest. Okay, so once you have your profile well optimized, 
um, you'll see that you you'll get more visitors and people going into your profile okay the next thing you want to make sure is once you start getting visitors on your profile you can see here who's viewed your profile and well many of these people are connected with me that's why it's the message button but for example he he's not connected with me so okay so he viewed my profile so he's a warm lead if i ask him to connect with me he will probably say yes because he just viewed at my profile you know so i should probably um ask him to connect well it's already invited so you can not go ahead and look at all the people who viewed your profile and ask them to connect with you this is a great way to get leads these are fresh leads and warm leads i'm sorry of people who recently view you and that would most likely connect with you here's another one here's another one so I just have a few, most of them are people who are connected with me, okay? And the last thing you may want to make it sure you have is content. You want to post content, articles, posts. You have to post as often as you can. I suggest four times a week at least. And I recommend you to write articles. If you want to write articles, you just click here and you go ahead and write the article. I'm going to show you what I just posted a couple of minutes ago. So I posted this article. Um, it's just a short article. I'm not doing it too long. I just want to get like heads up on a subject that I'm talking and then I send them to my website okay so here's my click to action phrase and at the end of the article I send them to my website you can send them to whatever landing page you have and I embedded a YouTube video that will also help me with the conversion people are more likely to convert through videos right it also gives um, views to my video so you go ahead and write articles and well a good idea that you can use if you don't know what to write about is to go ahead and look at your connections um, profiles for example if you want to sell a certain service to real estate agents for example you'll go at other profiles I don't know if this person for example you you'll go and you see what pain points he have what things he likes what is he talking about um what kind of pages down here does he likes their interest um you can go ahead and follow his company website if you click you can get here this is a company website he doesn't have it really optimized but you can see what he's posting well in this case he doesn't have any posts but you can see here what do companies are posting about and you can write an article around that okay so those are the three things that will help you generate consistent leads one is your profile the second one is make sure you have the about section of your profile really optimized and make sure you go ahead and see who has viewed your profile and you connect with them and the third thing is to write articles on your account on LinkedIn okay so I hope you like this video and I'll see you on the next one thank you